So today we're moving on into section 1.3, applying the Pythagorean relationship. I'm splitting it up into two parts. Today we'll focus on just using the formula and next lesson, which I'll post on Thursday, we will look at problem solving with it. So let's just review what we learned last week. Last week we learned about the Pythagorean relationship. So I have a right triangle here. There's a symbol here to show us that and three sides and they're labeled A, B, and C. The longest side we're going to learn is always going to be labeled C, which is also the hypotenuse and sides, the legs here, A and B, it doesn't matter what we call side A and what we call side B. But last week we learned that if we make a square off of the leg, so we would call this A times A or A squared. So this is the area here. And we add it to the area of this leg. So B times B or B squared. When we add these two areas together, we end up with the area for side C or C times C, which is C squared, right? So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Where C is always the hypotenuse. And this is the Pythagorean formula. So we'll be using this formula today to solve for the different, to solve for the missing length in the triangle. And um, we, you, you should know what a squared, b squared, and c squared mean, right? You're looking at the areas of the squares. So today we'll be looking at using the Pythagorean formula. And uh, actually, before we start the questions, your calculators, I know many of you, you should know how to do this by now, but if not, um, if I wanted to do five squared, rather than going five times five, right, uh, you should look at, on your calculator, find this key here. So five squared, um, and it gives you 25. So I'll be using this key um, and you should as well. Okay, so here we go. Example one, determine the length of the hypotenuse of the triangle below. So I, I just need to put this symbol in here. Um, I want to find this side here and it's the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always C and these legs it doesn't matter which one I call side A or side B. So I'll call this side A and this one here side B. I'm going to use the formula to find the length of side C. So the formula is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And I plug in my values. So for A, I plug in six. For B, I plug in five. So six squared is 36. Five squared is 25. And I end up with C squared equals 61. Now I don't want C squared. I don't want the area of the square. I just want the side length. So what I have to do is I have to take the square root of 61 and C equals square root of 61 to one decimal place it is 7.8 centimeters. So C equals 7.8 centimeters. That's the length here that we solved for. Example 2. Um, Determine the length of leg X of the right triangle. So this is a right triangle here. I'll just put that symbol in. And um, we start by labeling the sides. So our longest side is always going to be side C. And then the legs, it doesn't matter which side I call A or B. So I'll call this one 
um, B this time and this one A. So it looks like in this case here we're solving for side B now. So what I do is I write out the formula A squared plus B squared equals C squared and I plug in my values. So for A I'm going to plug in 15. B is our unknown so I'll just leave it as B squared and for C I plug in 39. Okay so 15 squared is 225. 39 squared is 1,521. And now I need to solve for B squared. So we need to go back into solving equations, which means I need to get this B squared by itself. So I would minus 225 and minus 225 from this side so that I have B squared equals 1,296 and I don't want B squared, I just want B. So I take the square root of this side and the square root of this value and I end up with B equals 36 meters. Okay, so the, the trick here is to know if you're solving for side C or if you're solving for one of the legs. When you're solving for one of the legs, you have to um, use subtraction. So on the second page, I've got four examples. I'd like you to pause the video and try them on your own and then um, go, through, re, uh, go through the answers with me. Okay, so for the first example here, Step one was to label all the sides. Notice the longest side, the hypotenuse, is always labeled C, and it doesn't matter which one we called A or B. So that's step one is to label the sides. Um, I did have to put these symbols in on this page because I couldn't do it on my computer. <laughs> um, so step two is to write out the formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's the Pythagorean formula that we're learning about today. Um, then the next step is to plug in the numbers. So for A, we plugged, I plugged in six. For B, I plugged in four. So I'm solving for side C. I need to square these numbers. So 36 plus 16 gives me C squared. Um, then I have a value of 52 for C squared. I don't want C squared, I just want side C. So I had to take the square root of that to give me a value of 7.21. Um, the example to the right, uh, step one, label the three sides. So I labeled my hypotenuse side C and this leg here A and B. It doesn't matter which one, you if you did this reverse, you should still end up with the same answer. I write out the formula. Um, I plug in my values. So for A, I plugged in 8. So I have 8 squared plus B squared. That's the side that I'm solving for equals C squared. And for C, I plug in 10. I square the numbers. So 8 squared is 64 and 10 squared is 100. I'm solving for B squared, so I need to isolate for B squared, right? So I have to subtract 64 from both sides, which gives me a value of 36 for B squared. And I take the square root of that number and I get a value of six centimeters for side, for side B. Um, so you can try the next two questions now. Okay, and then for the last two examples, uh, the triangle on the left here, the we're solving for side B. So make sure uh, in when you're doing this question, you have to subtract side A, and you should end up with an answer of 4.47. And then for the last triangle here, 
um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we're solving for the hypotenuse in this case. Um, 3 squared plus 3 squared, so 9 plus 9, and we take the square root of 18. So this is the Pythagorean theorem. It's extremely important, this formula. You'll see it over and over again in grade 9, uh, in grade 10 when we start trigonometry when we start using these buttons here, the sine, cosine, and tangent. Um, it relates to that as well. So please, if you have any questions or you're not sure, please make sure to ask myself or Miss Soretta, um, and then you can get started on your workbook questions.